Hey guys, it's Charlene. Happy Tuesday. It's going to snow in D.C., they said. So, of course, we all rushed to the grocery stores yesterday. <laughs> so that means, um, you know, possibly we could have plenty of time for fun. And by fun, I mean decorating. So I wanted to do a quick Valentine's Day um, vignette. But I wanted to use what I have. You know, I didn't want to go buy anything. I know most of us that have been decorating for a while, you accumulate arts and crafts and accessories over time. So you have to start recycling that stuff, okay? And the reason why I promote that is not just because I don't have sponsors. <laughs> it's because we have to try to reduce our carbon footprint as much as we can, okay? Um, and I think part of my whole gratefulness journey is being appreciative of what I have, simplifying my life, and finding creative ways to use the things I've already purchased, okay? I mean, because in, in America, I feel we recycle everything um, because we're always consuming everything. So we'll, we will recycle it, get rid of it, but not necessarily upcycle. We do that with people, right? So of course we do it with things. Okay, I'm gonna stop preaching. Anywho, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day vignette. I didn't have any hearts and flowers, but what I did have was birds and bees. I was like, okay, this is a little play here on the concept of Valentine's Day. So I grabbed my blessed tray. That's just a tray that I stuck that Dollar Tree blessed um, table mat in and that's going to be my background now this is winter so if this was spring I probably wouldn't go this dark but it is winter and you want to cozy up the home a little bit okay so I have white walls I have white counters and light floors so it's okay that I'm going darker and I kind of like the coziness of the the darkness here because it's what winter not spring y'all and then I have my cute bumblebee glassware. It's burlap with the bumblebee print. And that's going to serve as the vase for my flowers, of course, okay? So here's a tip. If you wanna decorate um, a vase you know, with flowers, play around with it. And once you get it how you like it, take a picture so you know how you placed it and then you glue and make it more permanent if you like. I don't make mine's permanent mines. I do not make my flower arrangements permanent because I'm always changing stuff. So I kind of just try to stick it in and hope it stays. That's my technique and it works. So I did this a few times. I first I had the tall leaves and that was out of scale. And then I had the white flowers and it looked so crowded and cluttered. And then I was like, you know what, let me simplify this and have a focal point with the flowers and a little bit of the tendrils draping. And I had these flowers from the dollar store already. And in fact, I had placed the leaves and the pink tendrils in my windowsill before I did the window. And hopefully you've checked out my last video where I redo my window space. And so I like this um, arrangement in the end. And then I knew I had this little mercury glass bird um, and I just needed to elevate him. So I'm using some old books that I got from the thrift store for a few dollars. And I'm going to show you how I had it turned with the spine facing outward, but I didn't like it. It was too busy and I didn't like the words of the book cover. <laughs> and I didn't want to cover it because I like the fact that it looks old, okay? So I just turned it around and now it blends a little bit more seamlessly. And then I stuck my Mercury Bird on top. And my Mercury Bird I got from Marshalls years ago for 70 cents after Christmas sale, which is why I love those sales the best because this is most likely a little bit more realistically how much the bird really costs to produce, <laughs> manufacture, honestly. It was probably 10 cents, okay? And so I wanted to show you, just ignore my dirty sticker tag. I just wanted to show you, people leave tags on usually because, one, you're thinking about how this is going to fit in your scheme and you may want to return it. And two, you're just lazy. Duh. <laughs> 
So I elevated, I have two books and a wooden charger and then my bird is sitting on that and there's a small little tea light in there. And then I have my lamp that I got from Kirkland's many years ago and that's giving it a little ambiance and that completes my birds and my bees Valentine's Day vignette. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Come back. I'm going to do many more fun vignettes and updates to my home. I'm going to tackle some big projects and some small projects. Talk to y'all soon.